Hey, my grubbies, time to grow with Sharice. Dab on, dab on, dab on, dab on, dab on, dab on. Hey, guys, today I'm coming to y'all with an awesome thing. I'm coming to y'all today with some white rice with some chili garlic sauce that I made and some fried fish and I put some of that uh, chili garlic sauce on top of my fish but I fried it crisp because I like it to be crispy y'all got some lemons on top okay yes y'all it is time to grub let me see I'm gonna turn it like this yes all right y'all so I'm hungry let's get into this this is the uh rice the fried fish I put the lemon on top which I'm gonna take off put on the side y'all right now how are y'all doing today First off, this is Time to Grow with Sharice, and hi, I'm Sharice. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and become part of the Grub family. Yes, Grub family. Hey, what's up, Grub family? I'm speaking to all my Grubbies who I love so much. If you're new to my channel and you're a new Grubby, hi! Thank you for joining the family, okay? If you like this video at the end, give it a thumbs up. Also, leave me a comment. I answer all comments. Or I try, okay? Also, share, share, share this video so people can know what your girl is doing over here. We got some fried fish. We got some chili garlic sauce with some rice, y'all. It's so good with rice. It's so good, y'all. Oh, my God. It's so good with rice. And I'm hungry. This is the first thing I'm eating today. So, I'm going to go ahead and place my lemon off to the side, y'all. All right. There's my spoon. We're going to give God some glory. Amen. Y'all, this is looking like it's going to be bombsy. All right, let me show y'all some of this rice and gravy. Yum. That looks good, huh? Mmm. It's so good, y'all. Today, I'm just going to have water. Ooh, yummy. It is a little spicy. I always put a little sugar in it, so it's a little spicy, a little sweet. Let's get a piece of this fish. Now, this fish right here is flounder. Okay. Mm. Mm. That flounder is so good. Mm. Mm. Oh, my God. Bomb, y'all bomb mm. yummy yummy here we go mm. it's bomb I knew it would be bomb I knew it I was like I'm gonna put some mm -mm. Put some on some fried fish. It's going to be bomb. I already know it's going to be bomb. And honey, it is bomb. Okay. Fried fish. We got flounder, tilapia, rice with the chili garlic sauce. That chili garlic sauce, you got to put a little sugar. It got to be sweet and spicy. Oh, my God, y'all. Oh, my God. Anyway, today I'm coming to y'all with a story time. This story time is coming from when I was in Dallas, when I was, like, 19 years old. Okay. And I was in with my best friend. And I moved out there and met her. This one is going to be called, the story is going to be called, We Were Chased by a Serial Killer. Okay? So we thought. Anyway, so the story begins that me and my girl, we wake up. We live in, uh, where we live? South Dallas. Uh-uh. We lived in North Dallas. Okay? And I think I had been in town for maybe like a week. Not long. Mmm. When me being in town for such a short time, and she was working at KFC, we wanted to go and have time to explore, but we had to wait till she was off. That's a whole nother story. I used to work there when I first got there for like three days, but that's a whole nother story. I'm going to tell you about that one. Probably in this story. Okay? But anyway, so we was like, we wanted to go explore because she was off. So we didn't have cars, so we had to ride the city bus. Now, downtown Dallas is just like to me, like... New York City. I was amazed, okay? But I'm skipping up. So we got up in the morning. We were uh, watching the news and stuff. And they had a, um, 
you know, they have all kind of wrecks on the interstates and stuff in Texas. I don't know why every single morning. And the news also was saying that they had a serial killer driving a white car, white male, that was going around and killing prostitutes, okay? So, you know, us being young, we walk everywhere. We was like, oh my God, you know what I'm saying? But they have that happen all the time. Killings out there is nothing. They have shootings and everything, like shootings and stuff every day. Anyway, so after that, um, we're getting ready. We're going to go downtown to, uh, you know, like look around. She was going to show me around downtown because I've never been there. And also uh, go by her job because we had to do some stuff. So when we left, it was already getting kind of late. We got on the city bus and we knew we were going to go downtown. Okay. So as we're going downtown, first thing first that really tripped me out is when we got downtown, how beautiful. I'm telling you, it was like New York City. New York City, like I see on TV. I never seen big, tall buildings, people standing on corners. And we got dropped downtown on the corner. That's how they do. The bus will drop you off on the corner. It just was amazing to me. We got off downtown. Okay. Let me slow down. Mm. It was cooked to perfection, y'all. Mm-hmm. Alright. Mm, mm. I'm trying to tell this story. So if you notice I'm eating fast, hey, if you don't like it, just move on to the next one. So as we went downtown, we started exploring. Mmm. My my friend is only 18, so she don't know much about Dallas either, so. We didn't see, like, no major tourist things. It was just a big buildings and stuff that really, ble like, I'm going to say it blessed me. Because i never seen nothing like that in real life. So, as the day went on, we were just walking around downtown. with the bus to the KFC, but we had to end up going inside Dallas. Now, South Dallas is the bad side of town. Out in Dallas. Where they have a lot of shootings and all kind of stuff. And so, when we got in South Dallas, we walked to KFC. We spent almost, like, the rest of the, it was already late. So, by the time we left KFC... Um, you know, because we were able to eat and everything because she worked up. And by the time we left KFC, it was just getting dark. It was dark. So we walking, two young girls, and we walking down the road. And why, oh, why, oh, why does a white Cadillac with a white man driving pull up on the side of us? So we walking and talking, not paying attention, you know what I'm saying? Because people guys try to holler whatever you know what i'm saying and i just so happened to look and when i seen and he was like stopping like slowly driving on the side of us and stopping and i was like hey you know what i'm saying and that's when i was looking and looking and then all of a sudden y'all he like pulled in front of us like to the side of the road when i tell you i'm gonna tell you about a movie scene i was like ah! you know what i'm saying and my girl was just as hysterical as me. When I'm telling y'all, we just, we just like rammed it, <laughs> bumped it to each other. We went ah, running, fell down. When people say in the movies you fall down because you're terrified, don't, I wouldn't fall down. They're lying. Okay? You will fall down. Okay? Yes, you will. Because I'm telling you, we was running like crazy out the movie type people. Okay? So we continue to run. I don't ever look back. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. I never look back. Mm. 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 I just continue to run. I ran until we ended up inside of a dollar store, which was like a dollar, everything a dollar in Texas. We went to the counter screaming. Ah, people looking at us like, he out there, a serial killer, a serial killer, a serial killer. And then it was ran by like a Jamaican man, so he was like, uh-uh, uh-uh, y'all got to go, you got to get out. So he literally put us out the store. Anyway, so we stand at the door by the store where, the lit, where people would be, and we was looking, but we didn't see the white car anymore. Thank God. So, finally, we had to walk our way to the corner by, the, i never forget, it was by a Mexican restaurant, and we had to get on the bus to get back to, where we live, North Dallas. Now, we in South Dallas, okay? So, we scared. They have prostitutes walking. It's just, it's Dallas. Dallas is just fast, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I like Little Lake Charles. 
Anyway, so we get back on the bus, and we have to go downtown, get off on that corner, transfer to the other bus. So we knew how to do that. But when we get on our bus and we're going back to North Dallas, and we're coming up from a different direction, I noticed, like, that they had a restaurant, a jack-in-the-box site, where we used to we live right next to the apartments. And it looked like we was passing it up, but he was really tiny. But when I seen that, I'm already on 10, so... You know what I'm saying? My girl on Tim, I stand up and I just be like, we need to stop, stop. And the man in the bus was like, you know what I'm saying? He didn't slam on the brakes or nothing, but he looked up in the rear view and everybody else. And I stood up. And when he got to the next stop, now I'm standing up trying to get to the front. I'm like, we missed our stop. And she right behind me. I don't know that. She been there for a couple months. She don't even know that. And when we got to the stop. So when he got to the stop, you know how the bus will make you fly? I almost flew through the window. Boom. <sighs> And I flew to the front of the bus, and but I didn't care because I I held on and I was like on my knees or whatever, and she, <laughs> and she almost knocked me through the window because she was behind me. I mean, it flew us to the front, and we got off that bus so quick, and that man was looking at us like these crazy dingbats. So after we got off the bus, we just took off running down the street to the apartment. I am not even lying. We were terrified because we were being chased by the serial killer, and we just knew he was gonna be there from South Dallas to North Dallas. And I was like 18, so when you're young like that, you're just crazy. But thank God we made it in the house and nothing happened to us. Thank you, Jesus. Because I was scared. I can still feel the scaredness that I had that night. Okay? And that was years ago. Mmm. Mmm. But that's just one of my adventures. Back to the food. Mmm. Of when I went and took off and moved to Dallas. I don't know if I ever told y'all. Because I ain't got no shame. It was all learning experiences. When I got 18 and thought I was grown and wanted to move to Dallas, you would not believe I left with $25 in my pocket. Because my girl was like, she had everything I needed. Mm-hmm. And when you're young, you think you don't need nothing. Okay? You don't think about what really can happen, okay? Mm. Mm. Yummy. Mm, mm, mm. Flounder is a good fish. I never buy flounder. Like in the uh, at the Walmart. It's just as good as tilapia. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. So good, y'all. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I was like, man, we had some adventures out there. Mmm. Mmm. Now that's the tilapia. I'm really liking the flounder more. Ooh, okay. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. And I love the crunch. Mmm. Bomb. If you like that um, Goku John, you need to make this with some rice and some fried fish. I don't know, something about when something crunchy, having the crunch, like the fried food with like the rice and the gravy. I don't know, it's just delicious. It's so good, y'all. Yummy. Mmm. And the sweetness. I didn't have any of my Goku John, y'all. Go, Goju, Goku John, whatever it's called. So, 
I had went to Walmart and they didn't have it. So I had to get it when I went to Kroger's. Other than that, you had to get it from the Asian market. Mmm. Yeah. Somebody who followed me on Instagram said she wanted to send me some food, some foods from Cambodia. And I told her, yeah, I gotta get a P.O. box, y'all. Today, but I'm gonna P.O. box today. I'm gonna get a P.O. box tomorrow. Mm. Mm. I love the crunchy part like this when it's thin and it gets fried up real good. Mm. Mm, I, mean, wow, I love it. It's that crunch. Mm. It's delicious, y'all. Mm. Mm. Ooh. So good. All right. This was so good. So good. So good. So good. Hey. This was so good, y'all. Yummy. Perfect idea for today. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, Leave me a comment down below. If anything you want to see me eat, anything that you want to see me do, anything that you're interested in talking to me about, Give this video a thumbs up. And as always, remember to dab on your haters and sparkle on them. And I will see y'all when the next time it's time to grow. Bye, y'all.